Today I'm in Mannheim. Guys, I'm at Harput Grill. I've got some authentic Turkish street food. Check out the German engineering. I've just infiltrated a German rapper's life. We're on our way to Mannheim to smash a kebab food challenge. Good morning, good morning. It's a crisp day here in Nuremberg. I actually love this weather. We're at McFitz, it's back day, and then we're driving to Mannheim. We're gonna smash some more kebab, so it's gonna be a good day. But, gotta get the work done. Back day, then we got a bit of a drive, so stay tuned. We got straight into it today with the pin-loaded lap pull-down machine. Three working sets, then onto the plate-loaded row. Sero and I were going set for set and training really efficiently. Check out the German engineering. All metal, all heavy duty, <laughs> no padding. <laughs> this is gangster, man, look at this. Who is metal? No minimal padding. Germans, man, it's all about efficiency and practicality. I've honestly never seen a gym like this before. It's actually kind of cool. I've really never used a lap pull down without padding before. Three more working sets here, going set for set, before we move on to cable pull downs and some bicep curls. I think Sarah has had enough for one day. It's time to make our way to Mannheim. All right, the gym is done. Sarah had a quick outfit change. You know, had to match matching basketball jerseys to get to Mannheim. Is there on the, we're on the road now, Autobahn. And this thing is nuts, check it out. But we're on the road to Mannheim. Mannheim, baby. I'm learning how to freestyle German rap in the car. And I'm giving him some tips on competitive eating because today we're going to take down some food, man. Definitely. Yeah, we got, we got some good food coming up. Today we have a lot of good stuff on the cards. Mannheim is a two hour drive. We're going to have some Donna. We're going to smash food. But this man is in training. He's been training hard in the gym, training hard with the food. Yesterday we did a challenge together. And today he's going to go one out, take it on himself. Thank you, coach. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. Catch you in Mannheim. All right, so we're in transit to Mannheim and it just dawned on me, I've just infiltrated a German rapper's life and I'm showing him the competitive eating lifestyle. So Sarah has been in training camp with me. We wake up, we train, we smash a lot of pre-workout and then we go and smash a lot of food. So um, I just realized I've just come in and turned his whole life upside down. We're gonna find out the main differences between competitive eater on the road and a German rapper and YouTuber. Man, I sure our lifestyles are so different. So Sarah, please, what are the major differences between the German rapping life and a competitive eater's life. The main uh, differences, I would say, um, basically it's uh, more planning as a rapper to uh, produce music, to um, put out some good lyrics, searching for some beats, like a lot, of, a lot of planning included, brother. By the way, what good English. And this guy speaks multiple languages, speaks better English than me. No, no, bro. Stop it, bro. I'm working hard on my English. Sometimes my English is so shitty. But uh, yeah, I've been living in Australia for a few months. That's uh, that was that's the main reason why my English is not that bad, I would say, compared to um, regular Germans. But I'm trying not most of the words I'm always forgetting. So sorry, guys, if I'm not, uh, if it's not understandable for you sometimes. It's not uh, because I, yeah, I just struggle, man. I the just, man is trying. He's putting yeah. up with me for two weeks. Man, we're road tripping around Germany. We are going to eat our way around Germany. Man, I've gotten to see some behind the scenes action. So if you look up Sarah's YouTube channel, Serotonin Shock, it does some really random stuff, but literally it's so different. So I do a lot of, I guess, shorter form episodes. Obviously, you, uh, my YouTube is about gym and food challenges, but Sarah does like full blown, like 60 minute episodes. He travels around. He's been to Milan recently, Czech Republic. Man, he was in Korea, he was in Japan filming episodes. You know what, even when you can't understand it, it's actually really funny, some of the stuff that he does. It's like a mixture of German like humor and like personality and like, you can just tell these guys are rapper, man. He it's, dresses like a gangster. It's loco, it's crazy, we would say. But thank you so much, brother. I appreciate you, man. Uh, it means a lot to me, for real. Um, just check it out, but uh, I think afterwards you will be disturbed and uh, maybe you ha you'll have to head, a, head to a doctor or something like that because we do some crazy things, man. A combination of talking trash with Cero and the crazy speeds you can do on the Autobahn, this two hour drive to Mannheim has gone so fast. All right, we've made it. We're in Mannheim. Cool little city center. Very congested and crazy roads, but um, we are here, Harput Grill. We're about to eat, man. We are so hungry. 
I reckon Sarah might actually finish this one. Today I'm in Mannheim. Guys, I'm at Harput Grill. I've got some authentic Turkish street food. Man, I've got such a big feed today. Man, I've got rice. That's the easy part. We have a lot of donna. We've got meat. I've got cockroach. Man, this is gonna be tough. I got even, I don't even know how much this is. At least one liter iron because you know, that's what Turkish drink. Got some meat, potatoes, beans. Let's smash it guys. Wish me luck. Yeah, Webby. All right. Um, All right, three, two, one, let's eat. All right, man, I don't even know how to eat this. Where do I start? Like just rip it, like this, all right. As you can see, this is definitely not an easy challenge. Not only is it a lot of food, but difficult food to eat fast. And let's be honest, this could probably feed 20 people. How much is inside here? One kilo? One half. How many people does this feed, this one? How many? How many people eat this one? Seven. You heard it first, seven people. And I have three of these huge donors. That's 21 people on one table. I'm definitely gonna give this my best shot. Thank you. All right. Had a great group of people that turned out to watch me and I didn't want to disappoint. I eventually got the cockroach down, I had a sip of iron and I moved on to the beans. Trying very carefully not to get it on my shirt, I used the rice to help me get this down fast. How much is in here? Next, I'm getting into this lamb. And man, this was a lot. Every dish I picked up, this challenge got harder and harder. Does one person normally have one of these? Two. Oh, great. Okay. I eventually got the lamb and the potatoes down. Now it's time for my second donna. Thank you. Oh, man, all right. And this kofta donna was massive. It was loaded inside. Beef. Kofta, all right. And I wasn't even really sure how I'm going to eat this. So I just started ripping chunks off. Welcome to the food challenge life. Glancing over to the other table where Cero was, I wasn't sure who was struggling more, me or him. You'll regret that. You're a crazy man. Yeah, I'm a crazy rat. Crazy German. Cero trying plenty of tricks to try and fit more food in. I strongly advised him not to jump up and down with a full stomach. By this point, it was very obvious neither of us were going to finish these challenges. But we were definitely going to have fun trying. And by this point, I'm well and truly full. Bro, once I get to the middle, it's impossible to eat. With time running out, the abundance and the combination of food, this was never going to happen. Two and a half minutes left. End is near. Uh, oh. What even is that? But I definitely put up a good fight and I left about a third of the kofta donna. But this challenge was so large, after eating for 40 minutes straight, it looked like I didn't even touch the table. Harput Grill, you win this round. 40 minutes. Ugh. Holy shit. Ugh. Harput Grill wins this round. Don't try this at home. I'm going home for a nap until we eat again, guys. Mm -hmm.